Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another classic arcade game video for you. Today, this is the original Area 51. One of the coolest shooting games ever. Ask around. This is the original dedicated cabinet. Um, came out in the mid 90s. Not sure exactly what year. Maybe 95. I'm sure someone will correct me below. But this is the uh, updated version. This is the one that's got Area 51 and Maximum Force both in the same cabinet. Um, they, released, they released Area 51 in a cabinet like this. And then they released Maximum Force in a similar cabinet but with different artwork. And then they released um, Area 51 Site 4 which was the sequel that had this same awesome cabinet. I say awesome because of the general design and the uh, just the artwork's amazing. Um, and uh, they also released um, Carnival is a really cool game that's got this same cabinet. There may be one or two other ones in the same cabinet, but those are the main ones. And uh, this was the first one, though I believe Area 51. I think I believe it came out before Maximum Force, but I may be wrong about that. But uh, whenever they released Site 4, um, they released an update to kind of make Area 51, the original one, extra cool. And so they added in Maximum Force to it. So you've got two full gun games in the same cabinet. Um, and they were both in the, in, a, in the same type of cabinet anyway. So they just put them both uh, where you could, if you had a dedicated Maximum Force, you could play Area 51 on it as well. And if you had a dedicated Area 51, you could play Maximum Force on it as well. So, um, but we just finished this up. We've been working on it a lot. If you look here on YouTube on our channel, you'll see that I also shot a video showing how the uh, how to repair the guns. We had to work on the guns a little bit on this one, like we usually do. Um, but we got that working, and we thought we would show a little overview video of just how cool these cabinets were. There's a couple things about them that make them great. First is the art, so you can see it's this kind of um, screen printed, kind of dithered looking. I don't know what they call that. It's almost like newsprint. See how they did the gradients on it? And so it was some early way that they could just print that stuff off. Um, which was unique because a lot of cabinets in the 90s didn't have full art like this. But the ones that did seemed to be the ones that were the most successful, if you think about it. All of the, uh, the Midway games, like this Blitz here, had full art. But you had a lot of games out that were kits, like uh, this, this uh, little uh, Neo Geo kit here. Of course, some of the Neo Geos would say Neo Geo on the side, but this is just, you know, just a kind of plain game. Or you had this uh, Skins game, which was also a Midway game, but notice how there's not much art on it. That was kind of typical of a lot of the stuff in the 90s, but not if Atari was involved. Check that out. So uh, that was one thing, one great thing about these cabinets. They just look awesome. And so you got this big alien. Area 51, or I think that's an alien. I don't know what's in Area 51, personally. Area 51, and check it out. Atari got the trademark on it. Yeah! <laughs> and then down here at the bottom, you've got, you see the barbed wire, and you see the boys in blue coming to take care of business. Or maybe those would be the boys in green. I don't know. But they're coming to, uh, to fight off the, the horde. The marquee, I think the marquee may have been replaced on this cabinet. This thing's not in great shape. I mean, it's in it's in great shape, but it's not in perfect shape. So I don't know if that marquee's been replaced or not. But uh, that's the one that's on it, at least. And then on the control panel, the control panel always fades on these horribly. So it always looks real yellowed. Um, you've got a red side, reload, shoot off screen, start. A blue side, reload, shoot off screen, start. And then join in at any time, which is a money-making opportunity for the operator. Because if somebody's playing and they're like on the last board, you can just hop in and start losing your quarters really hard on the last board too. <laughs> so uh, it was just a uh, a cool. Uh, any of those cooperative games like that always made a ton of money if they were fun. And then of course this side is just a mirror of the other side. The art on this side is a little bit better than the art on that side. Just in better shape. Okay, 
And then on the front, you've got two of the star team members. S-T-A-R-R, -R, I believe they're called. Don't hold me to that. No, S-T-A-A-R, it says. So these are the good guys and girls. And uh, so this guy, you can see somehow they put a patch on it that was actually the right art but in the wrong spot. So I don't know how they did that, but there was a bolt there that uh, had a big lock bar on the door. We took all that off. So anyway, you got this guy here. Looks like he's ready for business. He's wearing his fanny pack and his little, uh, his little fake hand grenades there. And then you've got her over here. And I'll just say, she definitely looks like she's ready for business. So I don't know what's all going on there. <laughs> but I'm digging it the most. All right, so cool game, cool cabinet. Oh, the other thing I was going to say about these cabinets is the way that the profile is designed. Check out how they designed it where the monitor is right up on you and it doesn't have a slant to it like most games so it's right in your face while you're playing it uh, which is really good for shooting games obviously you want the the screen to be uh, you know perpendicular to the gun right there it is star bio Stephanie Grant she was in the Gulf War in 94 she was in Panama in 92 whatever that is okay So there it is. And I was going to say, too, uh, the left gun was probably originally red, and the right gun was probably originally blue. But these games did come with green T-molding, so we thought it was kind of cool that somebody had swapped green guns onto it at one point. So on the bezel here, it says, shoot, aliens. And that's what the aliens look like. They kind of look like zombies. Shoot, barrel. With explosives, it says. Shoot, ammo crate because it's got ammo in it shoot power-ups that are nuclear or radioactive don't shoot the star team all right leave them alone so you can kind of see it going through one of the famous scenes and of course this game has a lot of hidden rooms in it um, that you uh, that you get by shooting like on this screen you might shoot all of the glass windows and if you shoot all of them it unlocks a hidden room or something like that um, and there's lots of little hidden things like that and it was a really fantastic game lots of people loved it I'm sure you've all played it but what I'll do is I'll set up the tripod and we'll play through it a little bit just so you can relive the good old days all right folks so I'm gonna play through it this is actually showing or actually I think that's area 51 but anyway we're gonna uh, this is, of course is the one with area 51 and maximum force on it if you look here on YouTube I've already got a video uploaded for maximum force but we're gonna play area 51 so I've got the sound pumped up a little bit hope you like it because the sound was excellent We better go to the beginning. And by the way, I don't aim. I shoot like John Wayne, straight from the hip. Bam. <laughs> don't shoot him. That's the guy from the front of the cabinet, I think. Oh, good thing I'm a bad shot or I would have wasted him. There he is again. This is proof I'm playing the actual arcade game and the actual monitor. You can see me waving the gun in front of the screen. Whoa, and knocking the camera over with the cord. <laughs> That's good enough. Thought I had him. No. 
gotta find some secret rooms. Accuracy, 59%. I'll take it. That's good enough. That's pretty decent for me, really. Good sound. Reload, reload. I fell. right got the forklift reload. Reload. oh <laughs> like I said good thing I'm a bad shot Saved by my inaccuracy yet again. 34%. Luckily, it's on free play. Awesome. I don't think I've ever shot the power up because it looks like it's it looks like it's bad, but it's it's good for you. Uh huh.
48%. I'm improving from a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, now what? Hey, hurry up. We gotta go. He's a good guy. Don't shoot him. Ow. That was cool. I had already shot, and the bullet, I guess, was in the air. And so when I put the quarter in, it let the bullet go ahead and hit him. Rewind it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Sounds awesome on this thing. Awesome. I'm trying to get all the windows. I know. I know it's got to be a hidden room. fire I shot one of my teammates in the back of the head I mean it was an accident
reload. Looks like it was actually pretty nice at one time. Thirty-eight percent. I'm holding steady. Those grenades don't work that great. They, they only kill whatever's on the screen. I thought it would, like, you know, mess up all kinds of stuff. But All right, folks, that's where we're going to stop it. If you want to play any further, I invite you to find one on location or to purchase this one. Now, by the time you see this video, we may not even have uh, Mr. Area 51 available anymore. It may have already sold. But what you can do is, if you check out our website, we've got everything listed on our website that we have for sale right now, no matter when you uh, see this video, even if it's 10 or 15 years from now. Oh, I get to put in my initials. I'm an idiot. Okay, I was trying to put in six initials and I only let you put in three. So by the, by the time you see this video, this game may already be sold, but you can see all the games we have available right now on our website at lionsarcade.com. Maybe we'll have another one in by then, or maybe we got something else that you're interested in. Or you can stop by and, and uh, see them in person. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina, just over the border. And we've got a whole uh, room full of cool, cool games like this at all times. Uh, but if you're not in the area and you're not looking to buy a game or anything like that, just subscribe to us here on YouTube because we're going to be filming tons of videos of all kinds of games. Every time we get one done that we haven't done a video of, A, and B is cool, we'll film a little video of it and put it up here to share it with everybody. So we'll see you on the next one.